way of life growing up for Lee Funkhauser was simply a vicious cycle. Where I come from, you just use until you die. It's just acceptable. It's normal life, and I didn't really know that there was another way. It started with painkillers to treat his back after a car crash. Lee says after more than a decade on the prescribed opioids, taking up to 200 milligrams of morphine and up to 80 milligrams of hydrocodone a day, finally his doctor halted his prescriptions. I had to get up, I had to work, I had to take care of my family. So I went to uh, the next best thing or so I thought. And like so many, he turned to heroin and meth. I OD'd on Sunday, jail on Monday, you know. Um, I couldn't live my life that way anymore. I couldn't function. He found the help he needed here at IU Health. We're able to have the door open so that when somebody leaves here and they're struggling, they walk in and you're here and you're part of it. Four months clean, Lee works with Jim Reiser, the director of this recovery program at Methodist Hospital, focusing on non-opiate treatment options. But anytime we add a, a, a medication that has an addictive component to it, there's been predictable fallout with it over the last several decades, probably in the history of medicine. Lee is now learning how to manage his pain without the use of chemicals. This has opened up a whole new way of life for me. Dealing with pain and just dealing with life in itself. He uses exercise as a form of treatment and discussion groups and spiritual awareness as a form of therapy. Give it a try, you know, because um, if you don't like it, that misery is totally refundable. And... Um, what, what do you have to lose, you know? There is still a long road ahead in his journey of recovery. But for Lee, with his dependency on opioids behind him, finally, things are looking up. I feel um, like I have a new life. I feel like a new creation, a new person. And um, if I would have ha had known about that there were other options, I probably would have went a different route than what I had, so. Versus then today, I feel good. I feel great, you know. Well, Indiana Attorney General Curtis Hill has joined 37 states to fight for non-opiate alternatives. They sent a letter to industry trade groups and major insurance providers nationwide to urge insurers to review their coverage and promote the use of non-opiate techniques.